Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sergeant Dr. Muhammad Rukman. Today we are going to discuss causes of bleeding fear. There are many causes of bleeding fear, but we will discuss the most common causes which are most common in our setup and locality and geographical distribution area. Patient Aksar Aapke Paas Aata Hai and the label is Bawasir. Patient Ko Bawasir Hai. Being a medical profession, while taking history, we can divide the uh, bleeding PR, ya Bawasir, into three diseases. Matlab, in tino bimariyon ko patient ek hi bimari tasawar karte hain. What are these three different diseases? First one is hemorrhage, second is fistula in eno, and third is fissure in eno. So how will we differentiate clinically uh, and on history basis between these three diseases. So first of all, hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are actually the uh, abnormal dilatation of hemorrhoidal vein and the distribution of hemorrhoidal plexus uh, in the anal canal, which can be divided into two, external hemorrhoid and internal hemorrhoid. Patient, what is the uh, history uh, point of the patient? The hemorrhoidal uh, patient present typically with bright fresh red blood which is always always painless and sometimes it is proceeded uh, with defecation and it may be uh, come after at the end of defecation it will be always bright red in color and it will be painless examination uh, for any uh, bleeding PR you will definitely do digital rectal examination. And digital rectal examination, first of all, you will inspect the perineum. Uh, if uh, the hemorrhoid are thrombosed or prolapsed, you will examine that. If it is not a prolapsed or thrombosed, you will uh, duplicate your finger and will do uh, digital rectal examination. And digital rectal examination, you can palpate the uh, hemorrhoidal uh, portions um, and you can uh, see uh, blood tinge uh, finger. So while uh, doing a perineal examination, uh, the position of hemorrhoid uh, will be 3, 7 and 11 o'clock position while patient is in lithotomy position. Uh, you can examine patient in knee elbow position, lithotomy position and left lateral position. But the numbering and uh, are label and lithotomy position. So first of all, you will uh, try to separate the buttocks and will uh, look for any uh, prolapsed uh, hemorrhoid or mucosa or something else. And then you will uh, do uh, DRE and DRE. You will look for the uh, blood stain uh, finger. And also in DRE, if it is uh, male, you will look for the uh, prostate uh, going above prostate and uh, the other examination of prostate we will um, discuss in some other video then after this you will do uh, proctoscopy and proctoscopy uh, you will be able to see the engorged uh, marital cushion and uh, what will be the difference of uh, hemorrhoid from the pressure in eno and then fissure in eno, the patient will typically present with the history of prolonged constipation and the patient will also tell you that there is painful defecation. The patient even experienced tearing pain. On perineal examination, first of all you will do perineal examination and look for the uh, <clears throat> anal canal. When uh, separating the buttocks, you will be able to see the crack in the mucosa. That can be on either side and anywhere around uh, the uh, circumference of uh, NS. Whenever there is breach in the continuity of uh, mucosa of um, NS, uh, then you will label this as a fissure in NNO. Uh, for uh, fissure in NNO, you will not do any diary and uh, proctoscopy because it is very painful condition. And in fistula in NNO, the patient will uh, present with uh, uh, any punctum or something uh, patient will feel uh, weighty or even uh, he can uh, have some uh, swelling the, um, around the anus that can be anywhere 
uh, around the anal canal. Uh, so when your patient say you will uh, look for perineum and uh, perineum examination, you can uh, definitely look for any punctum if it is present anywhere in the perineum interiorly or posteriorly. And then you will uh, do DRE and proctoscopy. But uh, if it is low lying uh, fistula, uh, then you will not be you will be able to see the uh, internal opening. If it is high um, fistula, uh, then you will not be able to the internal opening. Uh, so um, on fistula, inshallah, we will do another lecture and we will discuss Kotsal rule and uh, we'll try to de discuss in detail fistula. I uh, hope uh, the video is helpful for uh, PGs and uh, uh, medical professionals and also for the um, uh, normal awam ke liye bhi acha ho sakta hai. Thank you so much. I hope uh, aapko video pasand hai hogi. Uh, please like and subscribe my channel. Wish you best of luck. Thank you.